a reminder that you can also find us on YouTube mm-hmm. and Facebook. Search IFAF Pod. Uh-huh. In fact, now on YouTube, you saw this. You saw it happen. I did. I did. And I was so excited. I typed in IFAF and it was the first result. Uh-huh. I told you six months ago, we're going to beat the International Federation of American Football. Yes. In yeah. search results. Because it's such a small organization. Right, right. It's for fans of American football outside the US. Yeah. You know, Which like there probably aren't very many, let's be honest. Football, here. the pigskin, the oval shaped sports ball, the mm-hmm. Stewie Griffin shaped ball. The Hey Arnold head. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, IFAF can also stand for, I wrote these down, uh-huh. as we know, the Idaho Falls Advertising Federation. Right, right. The other IFAF here in town. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it's all federations. The International Foot and Ankle Federation. Uh-huh. And the Irish Field Archery Federation. Which is the coolest one out of all of them. I'm just going to say it. I want to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we'll, we'll have that as a future episode follow-up. I actually love archery. Yeah? So I think that'd be really fun to to check out. You ever seen the one where the girl puts her hands on a stump and does like a handstand and, oh, and uses her, with her legs? feet to shoot uh-huh. the... Uh-huh. Unbelievable. I know. Isn't that wild? <laughs> yeah. Freaking cool, dude. Anyway... You know how much I love smart asses on the internet mm-hmm. and in real life. There's an organization here in town who, quite honestly, often sweeps the other IFAF Gem Awards uh-huh. that I hosted two years in a row and you accompanied me right. to, to that. The uh, It's IE Productions. Uh-huh. And you might wonder, well, what do production companies do? So let's say you own a business and you want to put some ads on the air. Typically, you'll go to the TV station or the radio station and say, want to put some ads on? And they'll say, great, we can make your ads for you. Mm -hmm. But if you actually want something creative, you go to a production company Mm -hmm. like IE Productions or MCS Advertising. Our friends Steve and Lisa Fishbach there. And there's a few others. I know Porter Pro Media does Mm -hmm. a lot of great video that I've seen. Right. I'm partial to IE Productions because I go way back with my buddy, Gary Stewart. I think we've mentioned it before on this show. Um, And there's Chad Hammond. Eggs. Hammond Eggs. Yeah, Chad (laughs) Hammond Eggs. There's Max Metama, a brand new. He's the one who did the Taylor Swift AI. Right, which was so freaky. Deep fake that we played a few podcasts (laughs) ago. Generational talent. Uh Really? I think Gary (laughs) put those words in her mouth. Love that. um, (laughs) They, uh, oh, they're the ones responsible. Do you remember when we talked about the Eastern Idaho State Fair Bingham Memorial balloon animal ad at the yes. men's urinal? Oh, which was so brilliant. The caption was, no hard feelings. Right. And he looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when they're not busy making creative ads for mm-hmm. clients, they will do creative things on their own. Mm-hmm. I just recently found out that they re- they refer to the Spud Kings as the Ice Chuckers. <laughs> Check out these jerseys. Which is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Look at that. They, they got the logo and everything. They're not selling them. They just made them for themselves <laughs> to have a good chuckle at a Spud Kings hockey game. I love that kind of stuff, though, honestly. Stuff that you just do for your own amusement. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Which a lot of the shirts the you see me wearing on this show. Yeah. yeah. Like your... Um, Electricity buzz font one, mm-hmm. for example, yeah. or your uh, park style one. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. That, that we uh, had on last episode. Yeah, that one was fun. If you like South Parks as much as I do, Teton t shirts.com, who second plug this episode? I know. Wow. Th- that makes you. up for all the other episodes where I didn't plug anything. There you go. Like Greg Hale does with the Idaho Falls A's shirt. Yes, which is super cool. So, anyway, Mad Props, i.e., Productions. Hilarious. Mm hmm. We love it. And I think we should steal it. Oh, absolutely. I think it should be the uh, Chuckers uh-huh. coming this summer. Mm-hmm. I think the Spud Kings ought to be the Ice Chuckers. And we, if we ever get another team, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, the lacrosse playing Chuckers. Right, right. We'll just we'll find new little, yeah, new little um, uh, <laughs> adjectives for them. Yeah. Well, and you know, Ice Chuckers almost works on a different level, too, because I just imagine guys like throwing big old chunks of ice at each other. They really ought to do one game of baseball where they play with potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you hit that with a bat, man. Yeah. Or like even if just 
no, 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 funny. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> or even if just the first pitch was done with potatoes instead of balls. And That'd just, be funny. <laughs> just have just mash yeah. that potato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of love that idea. That's hilarious. And then serve it up for $15 at the concession stand. There you go. Uh-huh. Brilliant. You know, just uh-huh. rinse it off, throw some butter on it. You're good. Uh-huh. <laughs>